Hello and welcome to another episode of Keith Sucks at Modern Warfare. I'm playing Domination on Skip Row and I'm using the ACR with the thermal scope. Um, you're not going to see any uh, amazing gameplay in this. Actually, my final score is pretty bad, but I want to point out uh, some of the tactics I use to sort of make up for my <laughs> bad skills. Uh, usually, when, when you play Domination, you know what direction the enemy is going to come from. You can sort of uh, lie in wait like I do here. Uh, you, you know that the if you spawn at A, the enemy is going to go in cap C first, and uh, they're gonna, usually going to gonna be a few that runs for went directly to B from that. And the the fastest way there is is, um, is through that back alley. Um, like I said, this isn't an amazing gameplay. Um, I'm actually many of the deaths I can't I get is um, it's just stupid blunders. I I get all excited and I just run in without thinking and without um, just just hanging back a bit and just you know trying to, to not get myself killed. Um, I really like using the uh, the thermal scope with the ACR because, well, first of all, the, the thermal scope is awesome for um, um, for spotting enemies even when when there's not much room to see them, and and it adds a lot of range to it, uh, even though you have to to study it and um, and the ACR is is not really that powerful. Um, um, but I think it's it's nice because. Um, there's very little recall on the ACR, even with the uh, with the sniper scope on and um, or the the thermal scope on. And you can usually um, you usually spot people from quite a far away. And yeah, as you see here, I get a few a uh, few lucky centex centex uh, throw throws. Uh, what I really like is is when you have a player on the opposing team that uses the uh, uh, the riot shield because there's no way they can defend against the centex. You can just uh, lob it at them, and if if you stick to uh, stick it to their shield, there's no way they can. Uh, well, other than dropping it and then running the hell away from it, but you really gotta, you know, that there's not often a, an opportunity to do that um, because most of the time, you know, there's no weapon you can switch to, and there's uh, uh, you don't really react that fast to to, to drop your weapon and, or drop your right shield and run away. Um, now, the reason why I show you this video is, is this little gem here, uh, because with the thermal scope and something firing as fast as the um, as the ACR, it's really easy to, to get a lot of kills here, um, because people will mostly um, be in the center for long enough to, to actually shoot them down no matter what you have. You can probably do it with the, um, with the sniper rifle anyways, but... Um, um, I do enjoy I do enjoy the Centex. Uh, the, uh, the the thermal sorry the thermal also makes it easier to aim you see this guy with the riot shield I actually hit him a few times with um, um, on his feet because the riot shield doesn't really cover um, all of him at the same time but um, I did have to wait for him to try and, and get me with a throw knife before I actually got him down. But it makes it easier uh, if you have trouble aiming and, and studying your scope and stuff like that, like I do. Um, it's very easy to. Um, it helps a bit when you have the right shield. And I was on a good streak here because people kept coming all until this guy comes up at the top of the stairs and, and drops there and sort of. Uh, he sort of limits my view. I have to go up and then I die. Um, whereas I stand on the stairs uh, in in like a crouched position. So it's only my head, and I, I'm just barely popping over the uh, the edge of the stairs. He just went straight up and then prones, and that's not gonna um, <laughs> that leaves him wide open because he's suddenly very easy to hit rather than um, just having the top of your head. <clears throat> um, I got the um, I got a few um, emergency air drops here, and I and I got the care package and a, <laughs> a very bad predator missile. I I, I end up hitting the roof roof up there. But um, if there's one thing I don't like about uh, the emergency airdrop is really fun, but I'm always worried that the enemy is going to come and take my uh, take my crates before I get to take them, and uh, even more so when team members are trying to steal your items. Um, and it it really annoys me because obviously what you'll see in a second like a guy taking my crate with a sentry gun. Even though I I, I did die, but uh, he was very quick to run over there and, and take it. 
as you'll see in a moment. Um, I, I, I sort of think it's it's unfair because I'm well, I'm, I'm struggling to get my kill streaks, you know. Um, and I, what I'm trying to do here is, is I'm, I figure hey, I'm just going to go and take the enemy crate first, uh, and then it turns out to be ammo, which is useless because I'm using scavenger. I die, and when I come back, uh, my teammate is already working on that, and that makes me really angry. So I usually end up click on the people that does that. It, it doesn't do anything, obviously. It just um, lets me vent a, few, a bit of frustration. <clears throat> because I, I would have liked that that sentry gun. That would be fun. Um, but I usually I usually use the, um, the the care packets and the predator missile, and then either the Harrier or the um, um, or the emergency airdrop, uh, depending on what kind of map I'm playing. If I play something like Terminal, I'd never use the emergency airdrop because it's just um, there's you can only really drop it outside. I know you, you can have it drop through the um, through the roof inside the terminal, but it's, you're, you're going to lose a few crates for that. And then it's only outside, and you're very vulnerable out there. I think in, in a small map like that. <clears throat> so in in those cases, I switch to Harrier. Um, I usually don't don't get you know high enough to um, to get anything bigger than that. Again, you see that the thermal helped me spot that guy. Helped me um, helped me kill him. And um, I'm trying to do the same thing again, but the corpse from the guy earlier is still there, and, and it's it's a very hazardous place to stay if if you are in the uh, if you're not in cover anymore. From here on out, it's it's sort of like um, just a lot of, of stupid deaths because I'm 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 rushing too much, <clears throat> and I'm not really um, I'm not really thinking. You know, I I should probably just fall back. Change my tactic a bit and then uh, um, uh, take it easy instead of just uh, blundering through and having all these deaths. Because I do get, I think I need to fight with 20 kills or something like that, but I do have 14 deaths or something. Um, so that gives me a kind of a shabby kill death ratio. <clears throat> we actually, as you can see, end up losing this fight, but um, I think it's, it's fun to have the. Um, the ACR with the uh, with a the thermal scope because it's um, I totally didn't see that guy. Um, it sort of turns it into a mid range sniper, and when I do this, I have Stadium Pro uh, to help me with the um, uh, if I have to just do a hip fire. When I'm capping something, I usually I lob grenades in different directions, hoping to to catch somebody, uh, even if they only uh, they only get uh, partially blinded. Um, I can sort of hear them, and it, and it helps me cap, uh, cap a, a flag in the air. Um, but, the, but this time I was just I took the wrong direction. <clears throat> At this point, I've I've died so much that I actually have my uh, my final stand ready, <coughs> and uh, I do manage to to get this guy down and uh, try to survive. But then the the riot shield guy comes and, and kills my friend and um, well actually we, we managed to get him down between the two of us and I'm thinking maybe I can just crawl over there and, and grab the shield until I um, I can rest up again but, but no I get killed by neutral um, well, I, I really enjoy playing with the uh, with the ACR and the, the, the thermal scope sometimes you know you, you play with, uh, with the normal scope instead but um, yeah, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you next time.